Okay, my bot loving ninjas. In this video, we're going to go over the moving parts of the programming language AutoIt. Okay, we're going to go over the different features that it has. Before we get into that, I just want to say if you haven't already, then make sure that you subscribe, hit that mother trucking bell icon so you get notified of when I release new videos. Also, if you haven't already done so, then visit thebotempire.com where there's loads of resources, free videos. And you can get custom bots made and much much more so make sure you take the time and head over to the website all right guys in the previous video the introduction video i talked about downloading auto it which is the framework the language that we'll be using to make our bots for games okay auto it is a really simple language to pick up okay it is brilliant for uh, making bots for games which is what we're going to be using it for so I'm going to presume that you've downloaded AutoIt, which is absolutely free uh, to your computer. If you haven't already done so, then get to it. I'll leave the description once again um, in the video. Uh, in the video description, sorry, so tired. Um, okay, so you need to get that onto your computer. Okay, and here is what you need on your desktop or access to. Okay, three parts. Uh, the first part is descriptor okay this is where we're going to be writing our code which looks a little something like this okay um, the second part that we need is the help file um, also it's help file is considered one of the best there is when it comes to programming languages it's absolutely awesome every single section has examples you can use the search function and type in any command and you'll get a whole list of list of easy to read and understand examples regardless of what the topic is it's fantastic it's one of the reasons that makes this language this um, language so easy to pick up and the third thing that we're going to be using is the information tool and basically what that does is we're able to put the tool on any single object and we can find out the color of the object the, the position so much uh, the summary all all different details about that item so what we use this for is we can use this to um, uh, point out colors and pixels of say we we need to find an enemy so so if we're doing um, bots for wow or ruinscape we could uh, pick out a particular color that's only um, on on a particular enemy uh, so that we can target them that will become more clear in later videos we can use it to uh, pinpoint anything, any position on the screen. Um, and I'm going to give you a demonstration of that in a second. So they're the three different features that you need to have access to. They're on my desktop, as you can see. Okay. So where we do most of the action is here in the scripter. Now, I just want to make a real key point here. Most um, tutorials that you see about programming and uh, writing bots etc you have hours and hours of um, learning how to use the language okay uh, this series is going to be a little bit different um, I believe when it comes to uh, designing bots for games that you need to uh, learn through experience so I'm going to give you a rundown of some of the commands now um, but basically 99% of the uh, learning to code in or to it will be done as we do live examples i really feel when it comes to gaming um, building bots for games is the best way for you to learn so in this video i just want to show you the different components of auto it but the actual coding and stuff we're going to learn as we go i'm going to show you a couple of examples of how we use auto it um, in this video and then we're going to as i say we're going to do live examples so um, the first line here we see include and then array um, is basically uh, auto it has many add-ons see it as bolt-ons so this is to include the array functions there's one for ie for internet explorer there's hundreds of them okay so it just is a bolt-on to the main program so i've put include array dot a u three <coughs> excuse me which means that you know add on all the different functions and features that you have to do with arrays now the line here is win activate and then uh, the name of the uh, <clears throat> sorry the tab that I want the bot to go and uh, put into scope into view 
Now, how did I get this information? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, here is my contact form on uh, thebotempire.com and all I did is I used the tool I, I spoke to you about, the information tool, and I just grabbed the tool finder and I just come over here to the tab, boom. And then we can see the position, uh, we can see the, where is it, the summary, and here is the title here. So I just grabbed that title, okay? And we can use that with it in our program. Oops, okay, so go back over here. So I've put win activate, and then I've put the name of the tab here. So let me just show you something great about the uh, scripted program too. As soon as I put win activate, if I start putting the parentheses in, it will tell you exactly what we need to input. Okay, so we just need the ti the title. Okay, in um, in quotations. That's all you need, and you can see that um, here. And it doesn't matter what you um, start to. <clears throat> Sorry, what command you use? As soon as you put the parentheses in, it's going to tell you exactly what the bot. Um, sorry, what the program ex expects as an input. So I put that, which is the title, so it knows um, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, and same here. Um, I've told the bot next mouse click, which is quite straightforward. So if we just get rid of the rest for a sec, I put mouse click. And then as soon as I open the parentheses, it will tell you exactly what is needed. So look, we can see, first of all, it needs to know what button we want to press. So I'm going to use the left button. And then it needs the coordinates of where we want to click. Okay? We can change the speed, etc., etc. So all I've done is I've put in the coordinates here. And if you want to know, the coordinates for that is all I did is I got our tool finder, our information tool grab the finder and I've come over here to name, plonked it down, boom, and here under the mouse tab you can see the position. So I've just grabbed that position and I've just whacked it straight into our script. And then the next section, the next line is send. So just get rid of what I've put. Send, open the parentheses and simply the keys that I want to send. In other words, what this script is doing is it's activating the tab, in this case the contact form of my site, and it's going to move the mouse and click on uh, this coordinates, which happens to be the name field, and then it's going to send the keys, or it's going to type, in other words, uh, we sent, oh, we sent the keys, boom, voila, and that is it. Let's run this script. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Ah. No. Include arrays. Ah. Let's see why. Let's get rid of that. And there you go. Do you see what happened there? We moved uh, to the tab. We uh, made the tab active. We clicked on the name field and we put, we sent these keys. So let's just quickly go over that again. Oh my God. Right. So win activate means uh, go onto the tab, keep the tab in focus. And then we grabbed what tab we're talking about by using the tool here. We went to summary and we can grab the title of the tab. And then we put mouse click, we want the left mouse button to be clicked, and where we want it to be clicked, the coordinates. Once again, we use the um, tool finder to get that, and then we put send, which means send keys, and this is what we typed. Simple as that, guys. Okay, so I'm going to show you just a couple more features in this video. Uh, variable uh, can be uh, bank equals zero. Now a variable just means a placeholder. See it is a folder, okay, uh, or a bucket, okay, and in that bucket or folder you can put information, it could be a string of text, it could be a number, okay, so we're gonna use this a lot. So this could be, you can name them anything, but obviously you name your variables, something that's gonna remind you of uh, why you're using it, something descriptive, okay. Um, what else am I gonna show that we're gonna use a lot? Uh, message box, so we could say message box 
And then as soon as you put the parentheses in, it's going to tell you what you need. So flag zero, the title of the message box, we put test, whoops, we need to put this indeed, and then we could say the text is, this is just a test, like that, save, and there you go, simple as that. So like I said, once you start putting the parentheses in, it's gonna tell you the inputs that you need. And you can always use the help file. The help file is fantastic. It's really a great way to follow along. Um, yeah, so the, uh, just to recap, the three things that we're gonna use, um, oh, so tired. The three things that we're gonna use mainly are the script, the scripter, okay, which I just used to do the scripts, the autoit finder, which we found the tab, okay, and we found the, uh, the coordinates for the name field and the help file, which is going to be invaluable uh, during these videos. Okay, guys, in the next video, we're going to go over a lot of commands that are going to be used. We're going to go over it quite fast because most of the work that we're going to do, um, most of the coding, I'm going to do via example. Guys, drop um, comments in the description. Tell me what games you want to see uh, bots for. So it'll give me a good, um, good way of thinking moving forward of what videos to do. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.